All right, guys, so in this video, I'm going to be going through my top 10 best rooms from the RMS Titanic, and no, I'm not going to be including the Grand Staircase because technically it's not a room, but when it comes to this list, it's going to be any public room, any private cabin that I like, and it's all thrown together into my top 10 these are basically all first-class areas, as you would expect. It's the best places, but let's get into it. Starting at number 10 for me, it is the Ali Cart Restaurant located on B-Deck. Uh, when it comes to a lot of these rooms on the list, it's going to be based off of just my opinion of the architecture. Beautiful wood design. They've got a nice bar here. And the unique thing about the Titanic at the time... When it came to ships, normally they didn't have multiple places you could eat. For first class, there were a number of different areas. You didn't even have to eat in the main dining area throughout the entire voyage because they had multiple other options. And it's just a very nice vibe in here. Really good lighting. Very impressive wood paneling. Kind of the oak design. But it's going to come in at number 10 for me. Open to first class passengers. Kind of an overlooked, underrated restaurant on the Titanic that a lot of people don't know about. Moving down to number 9, it is the Reading and Writing Room, uh, located in first class again. And this room, I wouldn't even be able to enter this room, only open to women. But another very underrated part of the ship, you've got the big windows that let in natural light from the outside. You've got the all-white design with the beautiful furniture. This was for reading and writing. Like The one thing I envision this, like a coffee area. You know, I know that's technically not what it was for, but imagine just drinking a nice coffee in this room. Very, very nice vibe there. That comes in at number nine. Moving down to number eight, it is the swimming pool, or I guess swimming bath, if you want to get technical about it. So this was very, very naked. This is kind of like the only thing on my list that isn't luxury and doesn't look amazing. And, and the reason is because back in the early 1900s, it was extremely rare to have a swimming pool on a ship. The Olympic had it. The Titanic actually had a heated saltwater pool. And I just think the idea of having it, the rareness of it, it's got to be on the list for me. It comes in at number eight. Located towards the bow of the ship, right next to the Turkish baths, one of the things that was furthest towards the front when it came to first class amenities and we do not know the current status of it oh yeah maybe I'll mention you know where these things are at in terms of the rack when it comes to the swimming pool we don't know it's trapped behind doors and debris you know, we can get into the Turkish baths, but we can't get into the swimming pool. But just because it was so rare for its time period, I've got to include it in the best rooms uh, of the Titanic. It comes in at number eight. At number seven, it is the C-57 Parlor Suite, which also included a sitting room as well. So I just love the white design with the blue little lamps. It just looks so nice. And then it opens up to a beautiful sitting room. This was one of the more expensive first class suites on the ship because it did include a sitting room. One of the cool things about the Titanic, they had so many different designs for the first class, especially like the exclusive suites in first class. You could look at two suites right next to each other and their interiors would be completely different. And it's just a little cool thing about it. So I just like the architecture of the interior, the all white with the blue lamps and then leading right into the seating room. It comes in at number seven on the best rooms of the Titanic. At number six, it is the first class smoking room. So this is like the male version of the reading and writing room. It's just such a, you like picture yourself back in the early 1900s. You've got a nice dinner. I mean, they ate dinner four or five hours and then you retire to the smoking room at night with the lamps, with the fireplace. It's just a beautiful design and you've got the wood. You've got the natural light peering in, the furniture, all the windows. 
the nice carpet design, really impressive looking area of the ship. This was only open to the first class men, actually in the Titanic movie. This is where Thomas Andrews was last seen fixing the clock. That's what this room is. So it's going to come in at number six for me. Moving to number five, it is the Palm Court located towards the back of the ship. Absolutely beautiful with all the ivy on the wall, the potted plants, the big windows. Because it was up high, you could see some natural light get let in. Another area of the ship first class passengers could eat at. I just like the architecture of it. They've got a bar right in the middle and the palm court for me lit up at night. Just beautiful. It's going to come in at number five on my favorite rooms. At number four, it is the Turkish Baths, another area of the ship. This one located right next to the swimming pool. Very, very famous in terms of being able to see it on the wreck. You could go down there. You could have a little spa day. You could go down to the absolute bottom of the Grand Staircase. Actually, technically under the Grand Staircase because the Grand Staircase ends. And then there's another little cutoff stairway that leads down to the bottom, which is where the Turkish bath complex is. That includes the main room, which was the cooling room. That was the room that was photographed on the wreck. And then two or three other rooms like the hot room and the temperate room also located around there. Interestingly enough, it actually costs money to go to, to the swimming pool, the Turkish bath, several dis different places, even if you had a first class ticket, did cost money. But just a very nice place to relax. They also had dummy, like fake portholes that let in fake natural light it, because it wasn't located right up against the exterior of the ship. And they had to kind of fake it. So that's another in interesting fact. The Olympic actually had theirs right up against the exterior of the ship. Moving on to number three on my list of favorite rooms. It is the Cafe Parisian. Extremely impressive for the time. Basically a Promadon restaurant open until 11 o'clock at night. So you could have a nice late dinner, but it was mainly only known because it was located right next to the Alicart restaurant. It was mainly known for refreshments, for little snacks, but just very rare for the time period to have an indoor Providon restaurant on a ship. And also, it was not on the Olympic. This was one of the improvements they made because they built the Titanic after the Olympic. It was one of the big things that they did. They realized people really weren't utilizing this Providon first class area. Why not turn it into its own restaurant with beautiful windows, those square windows that could open where you could look out as you're eating your food. Really nice area there. That comes in at number three. At number two, it is the Suite 62 and 64, another private parlor suite on Titanic that was very expensive that also, again, included its own sitting room right next to the main bedroom for me that comes in at number two. I actually like the design of the sitting room in this one more than the, what was it, C57, which I had ranked seventh. I just like the d design of it, the wood, and then the way the portholes are designed as well. There are some really intriguing designs when it comes to portholes in different first class rooms if you look into the different designs on Titanic. And then at number one, the best room on the RMS Titanic. It's got to be the private Promadon parlor suite, which had three different rooms, including a sitting room and two bedrooms, along with the exclusive private Promadon deck. This was only found on Titanic. There were only two private Promadon decks on the ship, and, and it was by far the best suite you could find on Titanic, the most expensive one. It was shown extensively in the 1997 film, mainly because of the private Promadon deck. I mean, you got to go with this at number one. It's the obvious choice to me because it has three different rooms. And then on top of that, you walk into the private Promadon deck to where you can open your own windows and, and look out at all the different areas. You know, the privacy is just remarkable. So those are my top 10 favorite best rooms on the RMS Titanic. Guys, that's going to do it for this video. Make sure you follow me on Twitter. Link to that's always in the description. I'm, of course, the Depressed Ginger. Thank you for watching.